Dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And you get my previous videos or previous classes from my website or from my YouTube channel. So please visit there. And we were discussing about some basic concepts in organic chemistry. This is my fifth lecture. And in this lecture, I will be talking to you about the basic types of organic reaction and examples in the inductive effect and uh, application of inductive effect in determining acidicity of carboxylic acid. Okay, types of organic reaction. First one, addition reaction, substitution, and elimination and rearrangement. We will be talking first, what is addition reaction? Addition reaction occurs when two starting material add together to form only one product. For example, a plus B where B product like in uh, bromination of alkene give uh, trichromalkane. And second one substitution reaction. In substitution reaction, one group replaces another. Nucleophilic, for example, nucleophilic substitution. Here the nucleophile substitute, you can see this is the substrate and this is reagent. This is nucleophile and this substitute like this you, example. This nucleophile replaces the chlorine and form acid. And the second one is electrophilic substitution. This is substrate and this is electrophile. For example, this NO plus can act as an electrophile and RS minus can, uh, RSH is uh, this part. And you get this product. Okay. Third reaction is elimination reaction. In elimination reaction, two substituents are removed from a molecule and actually this is a method of preparing compound having triple bond or triple bond this is an ex example for that and uh, alkyl bromate in presence of base it give alkene two atoms are removed from here last one rearrangement reaction in rearrangement reaction carbon skeleton of a molecule is rearranged to give a structural isomer of original molecule a, here a substituent move from one atom to another of the same molecule. Here this is an example. On protonation of this alkene, it form actually this double bond tray can protonate it and it, it form a you know the a primary a secondary radical. Then a, a, it's one of methyl group get migrated to this carbon atom and a new double bond will be formed here. And next topic, second part, we are discussing the inductive effect. Inductive effect comes under the topic electronic effect. So what is mean by electronic effect? There are various properties of organic molecule, acidicity, basicity, and stability of various species can be explained based on electronic effect. Uh, such as inductive effect, mesomeric effect, Electromeric effect, hyperconjugate effect. So, electronic effect influences structure, reactivity, and properties of molecule. So, what is mean by inductive effect? <coughs> this is an example. Now, uh, uh, the, actually, this chlorine atom. In chlorine atom, this is the electronic configuration. You can see here in sigma bond, two electrons are shared equally between two chlorine atoms. So chlorine, you know, the electron, there is no electronegativity difference between these two chlorine atoms. So it is a non-polar covalent part. So it is equally shared. Whereas in hydrogen chloride, sigma bond contain two electrons are unequally shared between two atoms. This will be more attracted towards or slightly displaced towards the chlorine atom. That is more electronegative than hydrogen atom. So this get an you know, polarization, negatively polarized, this will be positively polarized. Similarly, in carbon-carbon bond in ethane is non-polar, but carbon-carbon bond in chloroethane is polarized. Here, this one is polarized. Okay, so polarization is due to high electronegativity of chlorine atom. And polarization of one bond you know, this 
may be caused by the polarization of adjacent bond is called inductive effect. So, carbon C, uh, CCL bond is polar and fluorine attracts sigma electron between uh, carbon and fluorine atom. Okay, this get attracted and this get a negative charge and this will be positively polarized and carbon gets fractional positive charge delta plus can be represent like this and this can induce further carbon polarity to the further so it is called inductive inducing polarity inductive effect so you can see it here this can induce polarity to say this carbon this can it can further induce polarity but the magnitude of polar, you know charge polarized charge positive charge will be less when compared to this one when distance of uh, this uh, the distance of carbon atom increases from chloride so the phenomenon of transmission of charge arising due to electronegativity difference in a covalent bond through a chain of carbon atom linked by a sigma bond is called inductive effect so what are the features of inductive effect it's a permanent effect and it operates through sigma bond its magnitude goes on decreasing with increasing distance from the atom or group responsible for the inductive effect so inductive effect is almost negligible after third or fourth carbon atom and the types of inductive effect there are two types minus i effect and plus i effect what is minus i effect any atoms or groups which attracts electron more strongly than hydrogen so we are putting hydrogen as a reference atom so it is attracting more strongly than hydrogen that is more electronegative than hydrogen said to be negative inductive effect these are the examples in which is arranged in the increasing order of like you know the inductive effect and plus effect means any atom or group which attracts electron less strongly than hydrogen is said to be have a positive inductive effect these are the examples so this is negatively charged molecule and it can donate electron and these are the you know the uh, alkyl group that can donate even electrons so minus i groups are electron withdrawing group plus i groups are electron donating group so normally if this is the classification is based on these facts and charged atom if it is a group is charged all positively charged groups will be minus i group and all negatively charged group will be plus i and if it is a neutral group if the first atom of group is more electronegative than sp3 hydrogen to carbon that will be minus i if the first atom is lesser electronegative than carbon that will be plus i so next one application of inductive effect so, so what is the substituent effect on acidity of carboxylic acid so acid strength of carboxylic acid you can that depends on the Position of equilibrium in ionization of acid in water. This is the ionization of acid in water. So this position of equilibrium, whether this is going right or left. If it is going right, then that will be more acidic. That means more number of H plus. So acid strength depends on the concentration of this H plus ion or this acid anion. <coughs> okay. So acid strength so when does that as this will be more h plus or anion so when this acid is more stabilized so the acid strength then depends on the stability of acid anion this is usually called conjugate base of this acid so any atom that is obtained after removing h plus is called conjugate base so the stability the acidity then depends on the stability of acid so strength of acid is function of stability of acid anion so uh, what are the other factors that can stabilize this conjugate base of uh, you know the acid anion 
when you have an electron withdrawing group and electron donating group what will happen to the stability so usually when you have an electron withdrawing group here minus i group here it can stabilize the anion this anion and then it become more strong acid so electron withdrawing group enhances acidity because they help to stabilize the negative charge of conjugate base or carboxylate anion next one plus i group or electron donating group destabilize acid anion and weaken the acid so you have an electron donating group it weaken the acid okay decreases the acidicity electron donating group that you can see here when you have a more electron donating group like this acid strength gets decreased so next one chloroacetic acid and uh, acidic acid what is the chemistry? you can compare the acidicity when you compare this acidicity you can see that chloroacetic acid is more stronger from pk where you get it so two order magnitude acidic than acidic acid so this is due to minus i group here this is plus i group so here how does you how can you say the stability of carboxylate anion and here in carboxylate anion you can see that this is resonance stabilized this carbanion already this this feature will be there in both cases but at the same time if you have an, an electron withdrawing group it can attract this negative charge further towards this atom so it can further decrease the charge and it destab you know delocalize the charge it is not concentrating on here but you have an electron donating group here it increases the electron density over this molecule so minus i group can decrease the charge here delocalize the charge then stabilize the conjugate base and these are the examples another example acetic acid and if you replace one of hydrogen with the electron uh, negative group such as iodine bromine chlorine and fluorine you can see that if you have a fluorine here it will be more acidic that means it is more electron withdrawing power this has so greater electron withdrawing effect it get more acidic so acidicity decreases also when the point of halogen substitution when it distances from the acid group so when this is this point is or this chlorine atom is distant from this functional group the effect will be get decreased that you can see from this pk value when it goes farther from this functional group acidity get decreased okay and next example when you have a number of chlorine atom increases you that more it will be more acidic if you have a three chlorine atom acidicity get increased so in summary electron withdrawing group enhance acidicity because they help to stabilize the negative charge of conjugate base so the amount of stabilization depends on the number of electron withdrawing group that is the first one and the strength of electron withdrawing group that is electronegativity and distance of electron withdrawing group from the carboxyl acid that's all and uh, thank you for watching